Dancing speed ramps just turn me on. Uh, oh, they can't do that. You can't do that to me. What's up everyone? My name is Jordan Orm. I'm a professional film editor and I've been able to edit some awesome music videos for artists like Justin Bieber, Post Malone, Roddy Rich, Tyga, g Easy, Quavo, Kalani, Sway Lee, Megan Thee Stallion, and so many others. Welcome back to another episode of Music Video Editor Reacts, where I react to music videos from a music video editor perspective. That's me. All right, we got a new SM Entertainment girl group. That's the first time since 2014 that SM has come out with a new girl group. We got four members so far. They're called Espa, I believe. They have a debut single, Black Mamba. I'm very excited to get into it and see what see what we got cooking on the SM girl side. Let's freaking go. Ooh, that clear frame. Hey! I like how we just start on nothing. Pull out. The colors. That synth bass. Oh. I'm addicted. Get the mopsy. Tell him. Body gotta turn the night as ba. Eat on your gut. As ba. As ba. All right, let's talk about the production design right now. Let's. Look. I know we're talking about editing, but who made this room? It looks like there's freaking Play Doh and Silly String all over the place. A lava lamp. Random ish. Go off production designer. I see you. Get the mopsy. Oh. I love cutting on that beat too. Oh, okay, what's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, well, you know, you freaking know we gotta look at the theories, okay? So, ESPA stands for, what does it stand for? Hold on, I gotta look it up. The group names ESPA is a combination of AE, composed of the English initials of avatar and experience, plus the English word aspect meaning two sides which symbolizes meeting another self and experiencing a new world so it's like we got a virtual version and a real world version of the band's members and they're like talking to the virtual version in this song I'm addicted, get the mopsy, body gotta turn the night as by oh. So they're just like talking to themselves it says black mamba would like to share a photo what is black mamba what does that mean Rest in peace, my friend. Apparently, Black Mamba is a snake, but why is Black Mamba sending a photo to Karina? And then it looks like she enters this virtual world. So, like, she was in reality, and then she, like, accepts the airdrop, and pff, we're in the Avatar experience. This is getting so interesting. <laughs> She's dancing me, bro. Oh, yeah. Go on. Woo! Boom, get him. That was hard. <laughs> oh, we got some sick editing. We're only 30 seconds in. This is going to be a long video. Okay, so here we got a turbulent displace effect. Everybody say it with me. Turbulent displacement. Okay, so we cut out the foreground here. So she's not affected. And then the background gets like that with the turbulent displacement effect. And then at the end of it, we have almost like a fake pixel sorting effect where we kind of glitch streaks across the screen and we do that to blend it into the next shot. So we're always as editors trying to make the video feel seamless and try to blend all the shots together. So we have that effect right before we cut to the next shot, which also has that effect on it for a second. And it freaking feels so nice. Ooh. Hey. Oh, okay, the editor just popped off right there. <laughs> Typing, screen stuff. It's like, frick. The editors were like, bro, how much editing do you want in this video? And Espo's just like, yes. Look at all these little VFX screen elements they had to make and made it like so colorful. And like, this is like a PC that Never had a firewall. <laughs> Ooh. Watch how the cutting fits to the way that the lyrics feel in the rhythm. So, ba da ba da da da. Oh, I can watch that all day. It's like every single word, there's a new shot, and it just flows so well. And then that transition. 
It's so good. <sighs> that was so good. I know a freaking Nerf gun when I see one. This is this Nerf gun right here. I had this when I was 12 and- I won't hesitate. But they used VFX and made it look really sick. So good job. Oh, that camera move. Oh, that match cut. The screen overlays. All these details, y'all. Wow. I need a break. Y'all knew you were gonna be in for a ride because you've seen the video and you're like, bro, there's a lot of editing in this Jordan, good luck. And one thing that I like to note about 2D animations mixed with 3D is the frame rate is half the speed as the video. So if the video is normally 24 frames per second, the animation is gonna be 12 frames per second. Now VFX snake? Okay, here we got the butterfly. So if I go frame by frame, you'll see we skip one, it freezes. So like every two frames it moves. And that really helps give the, the 2D animation feel because it usually has a lower frame rate. Because then, then they have to draw half as, many, half as many images when they're drawing it because they have to hand draw those animations like back in the, back in the old times. They were like, Ugh, this is too many pictures. How about we just like put the frame rate in half? Save my hand from carpal tunnel. Hey. Ooh, a lot of speed ramps. Ooh. That was cool. Did you see that dolly zoom? So a dolly zoom is when you're zooming the lens in and then you're dollying, which is moving the camera. So if you're moving the camera and the lens at the same time, it creates that like effect, like Jaws, when the dude like sees the shark for the first time, it's like a dolly zoom on him and just like, oh frick. And then on the break on the whoop, she just goes to dark and it just like, if that camera move with the darkness, that lighting change just fits perfectly with the producer. Got that drum thing here. Ooh. Oh, I see choreo matching the lyrics. That spin transition is freaking good. 3D graphics just like bring so much to the to the video. So we have animation here, but we put the animation in 3D space. So we have this depth in the frame. It's just like, feels like these are closer to us and these are farther away. It would have been difficult, but it would have been better if like, for example, this frame was like behind her feather instead of on top of it. And then that would make the illusion work perfectly because it looks like in the animation that this little box would be behind her head instead of like in front of it. Oh. oh! Is that what it's like to get eaten by a snake? I think I'm okay. I think, I think I'm okay. Mamba. Oh! That's the exact same camera move they did before and match cut. Oh, her eyeball! Okay, I don't know what this means. It's like the Mamba Queen is taking her soul. So we got these like evil snake hands. She has a snake necklace. What's going on here? What does the Black Mamba mean? Somebody in the comments let me know because this MV is confusing. All I really get so far is that there's two versions of themselves. They're talking to themselves. They're like, I'm obsessed with you. Like their online version, you know? How we are all obsessed with our social media images instead of our real image. I think that's a pretty relevant topic. But what is this? Editing wise, I love how we have this like sound. So when it gets loud, the editing gets more chaotic. And we have this like color effect, which is really cool. Kind of looks like this. I'll do it to, to my face here. What that does is just adds, adds some visual chaos during the audio chaos and it matches and it helps us cut between shots because there's this flashing and our eyes distracted so the shots blend together seamlessly. Like those two shots just blend together nicely. And we have all these speed ramps. Freaking smoke and speed ramps is like, mm. if you ever have smoke in your shot, use freaking speed ramps because it looks delicious. 
It looks absolutely scrumptious. Oof. Okay, how many of y'all were just like, right when they dropped down there? And the reason, the reason this is so good is we have complete silence before the beat drops. It's all in the sound, y'all. That's why it felt so impactful. We just, oh, the, that's the way to do it. I have a, a music teacher that calls this the vacuum of sound. Once you have literally nothing, whatever follows next is gonna feel so much more impactful because there was all that contrast. That contrast creates focus, y'all. Nothing and then something just makes that something feel way, 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 way cooler. Oh! Oh! This dancing scene is hard! I was sick! Oh, Who was that? What was that? Venom? There's some green juice that just went on the plants. Like under a black light. And then she like looks back like she just like spat on the plants or something. She's just like <sighs> Maybe she's the Mamba. Maybe I maybe I'm the Mamba. <laughs> Oh, she was looking at herself in the mirror, but her reflection doesn't match. She's literally talking to her avatar. So we got winter, and then I think this one says Espo winter. She's, <laughs> she's DMing herself. What's up, Jordan? How you doing today? Oh, thanks, Jordan. Man, I'm having a great day making a reaction. No way, what are you reacting to? Uh, Espo mom, that's pretty cool, you know. Dang, all the glitches. Mm. It's literally an animated version of herself. This is KDA-ish right here. Okay, vocals. So they probably had to shoot this in a certain way where they either had to create this whole background from scratch or they would just chill right here, have her be out of the frame, take a shot, have her walk in the frame, sit down so they could have this plate for VFX so they didn't have to like comp her out because she would actually be in the reflection on this shot. That's nice. Bro, this animation is so intense. Oh, the spin. You don't have to do me like that. You just punched me in the face. Is there a mark? Am I okay? And I love this just this glitching to go from the main character to the animated character we do all this this glitching where we just kind of basically draw out little boxes and then go into the new shot and she just and then we have some pixel sorting up here little glitches like bro look at her arm too it's like breaking the sound barrier right here just like that's how fast she punched us <laughs> Speed ramps, dancing speed ramps just turn me on. They literally turn, watch this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, they can't do that. You can't do that to me. The visuals on this is next level. I love dancing speed ramps, bro. The animation, the VFX. And one more thing, bro. They had to add like these little, these little pixely, what is it? Atmospheric elements in front of the frame. So like right here, you can see like these little streaks going by because it's like there's like little orbs floating in the air. And I love that little detail on the side camera movement. We get it streaking across. And then when we go to the front shot, we have them just like coming at us. And it really feels like there are just magical orbs floating in this avatar experience world. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay, I can tell you right now how to do this. This is pretty easy. So basically, 
you'll mask out this area and then you go to the mosaic effect and you just throw the mosaic on and I mean the color effects here are super cool too because we literally have black purple green and blue and those are the only colors in the frame and it's all like crunchy and ugh. anyway you add the mosaic effect and it turns it into pixels and squares it looks so cool I love how every single effect that we have too has a little sound effect with it. So like, listen. Like every single little animation also has a sound. So if you wanna take your work to the next level, match little things, little animations, little two sounds in the music or add whooshes, add sound effects to match your animations. Either way, sound needs to match the visual to make the experience feel very, very much exciting. Look at all these things, bro. This is such a cool aesthetic. Why are their hearts broken? Hey guys, I'm really sad. I have so many questions after this. This is such an interesting debut. Ugh! Wow. Well, thanks so much for coming on that insane journey with me. If you'd like to watch some of my other videos, they're super great. Check them out. Lots of K-pop, lots of American music videos. Um, this one reminded me of like Blackpink, KDA, ITZY, all like mixed together. And I'm really excited for this group. SM is kind of filling in a gap that a lot of other entertainment companies have, and that's pretty cool. Whatever you're doing, stop. Get up out your seat and join me for a little bit of... <laughs> Come on, somebody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jesus loves you. Peace out. See you guys later.